Hey, welcome back to Absolutely Marvel and DC's post credit scene discussion and explanation. We're going to explain it primarily, come up with a couple fun theories, and that's it. That's going to be today's episode. We wanted to separate this from the regular episode 9 episode because... Yeah, we can do another clickbait for, title for it, but I also <laughs> feel like this this is a topic unto itself, and thanks to YouTube's algorithm, they all got to be the same length, baby. All right. <laughs> yeah, welcome to YouTube. Okay, so we're at the ending of the whole show. Show's over. Wanda takes off. Let's talk about the mid-credits first. Yes. Uh, Scroll arrives to talk to Monica. This one's this one's probably the easiest to explain. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. what is it, Sal? Go into it. Uh, Monica Rambo is Captain Marvel slash Spectrum slash Photon. Uh, she, in her arc for this show, always wanted to go into space. She was grounded. Scrolls are working with Nick Fury and are good guys in this universe. So they're like, you're going Some up. Some of them are. Some you're of them are. We're oh, are there bad Scrolls? I haven't seen one yet. <laughs> I thought they said that there were at some point, but you are in the comics. There are bad and good ones. Oh, in the comics, it's mostly bad, and they are like in, they are dehumanized. It really, I have a real problem with the comic portrayal of scrolls, or at least how they're treated. But like, because they have like science and agriculture, but they're still treated like they don't have souls. And I'm like, ugh, like you're really gross about the scrolls. But in the in, in the movies, they're like they're a marginalized people, and they deserve our our help. And I'm like, right on, okay, that's what you're gonna do with them. Um, and, and, and you're going to waste a post credit scene like that for Spider-Man? Fine. But, like, here we are with this. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, they're like, you're going up. You're going to space. And, like, Fury's there too, I guess. So it'll be fine. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, she needs to but, team up with Captain Marvel. She's probably going to be in the second one. So makes sense That's what I think it is. And I'm pretty sure this is just a sign for everyone who did enjoy Monica Rambeau in WandaVision. Yes. Hey, she's going to be back in Captain Marvel too. Right, like, don't expect much her in Falcon Winter Soldier. She's going to space. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> go to space. Um, to space. It does line up perfectly. The scrolls are pretty much uh, like they're tied to Captain Marvel. Yeah. Um, Nick Fury being tied into Spider-Man, then going, oh, we're going to space. Uh, all of these things, the scrolls have been acting with Nick Fury and they're in space and Nick Fury's in space. Yep. So basically it just says, hey, she's going to be in Captain Marvel too. Right. Uh, I think that's pretty easy. It's, yeah. That's a pretty easy one to tell. because that's, Totally. Yeah. Yeah. But let's go to the more what the heck is going on moment. Right. So the last, the post credit scene is we cut to a cabin out in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. which, by the way, awesome. Wish I had witch power so I could, you know, do water, electricity, and everything I would need. Uh, in the cabin <laughs> out of the I know, indoor plumbing, uh, just just that. I'll take that. <laughs> just indoor plumbing. I'll be great with that if I can get it right? in the cabin. Yeah. Um, unnamed Mountain, which is our first series. Uh, it's either one to gore. Yeah. So I, I want to explain something real quick about what Scarlet Witch. In the comics, she is a mutant. Now, they always treated her as she has mutant powers to do hex magic. Chaos magic, she more learns to use by going to see witches such as Agatha Harkness and the characters at Wondagore, and she learns magic. More right. recent Scarlet Witch stuff has been more focused on her magic and less about her mutant abilities, to the point where they've even now said she's not even a mutant because they were trying to <laughs> separate it all from Fox, and they were like, she's a witch. Yep. Problem solved. The yep. MC universe, even though they have access to the X-Men, seem like they're going to lean towards she's still a witch. Right. Which, why I think Wondagore would be the location she's at there. Right. To amplify her powers to do the Doctor Strange thing, where she's able to look at all of the possible possibilities. Now, yeah. because the kids were screaming, and <laughs> Doctor Strange that we know she's going to be in is Multiverse of Madness, I don't think she was looking at future possibilities I think she found a way to tap into the multiverse. Right, right, right. Now, before we get into the multiverse and Mephisto and 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 the and the babies, I also want to throw out another theory about the location of the of the cabin. A theory on our post credit video. Why post not? credit scene explain in theory video? <laughs> because I literally I said the same thing. I'm like, well, Wanda got to be Wanda Gore, right? But then my brilliant wife Tiffany was like, or. Those are the Carpathian Mountains, and she is in Latveria. And I was like, oh, oh That would be God. a great way to tie it up into fan... But what, what, how would that tie in, though? It wouldn't. It's just she went <laughs> there. It doesn't matter if she goes to Wondegore or Latveria if she's going to be plucked into the Sanctum Sanctorum by Doctor Strange to fight Nightmare True. or something. Nobody cares where she is. All that matters is we're establishing it. And here's the thing. The little boy in Iron Man 2, turns out, I guess it's Peter Parker or something. Like, But they didn't think that when they did it. So it's like, no, 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 in this show, she's, they're just some mountains, but like later it'll be, oh, well, actually it's technically Latveria. And the first appearance of any Fox property outside of Evan Peters, Pietro. 
<laughs> is, you know, is, is the mountain range from Latveria. Like, yeah, uh, but I, but I'm, I, I'll take either. It makes sense for it to be one Gore, but I would love for it to be the Carpathian Mountains. But yeah, or it's so, just mountains. It's always that chance too. Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's it, no. It's always, it's always something. Because yeah, because why? Because if you have the opportunity, why not get a Wikipedia article about it? <laughs> so, all right, uh, yeah. So, so she's next, in the, the next. She's, she got the dark hole. She's able to separate her consciousness, as we saw. We have the the chilling, she can relaxing. Astral project. Wanda. Yeah. Yeah. She's do her her power scale multiplied massively by the time we got to the post credits scene. Exponentially, <laughs> she can astral project better than Doctor Strange. She can have yeah. physical manifestations of herself, as opposed to Doctor Strange, who has to like still blue and stuff. Like, no, she's physically <laughs> there. Blue. She's she's able to hold coffee and drink it, and also hold books and look in multiverses and whatnot. Like, she is she is uber powerful crazy yeah. scary powerful yeah so the the emotions that everything she was doing that is reminisc of dr strange in the dr strange movie totally so basically and in, in infinity war and in endgame i think is he did it in all three of them where yeah. he does the timeline plucking um nothing involving the timeline has been implied in wanda but we have had the ideas of alternate universes of things like that Mostly because of fan theories, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But they have quite obviously stated she will be returning in Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Right. By stating that outright, by also the kids being eradicated because her universe was closed up and clo gone, but yep. kids are screaming for her. I think she's plucking through the multiverse. She's looking for an answer, and See, that's how she's going to end up in Doctor Strange because she found one of those worlds where mm. they are there. Okay, because. My interpretation of that sequence was that she's looking through the dark hole because she's like, I better understand my powers. Also, I have this dope book of the dead, more or less. And she, in her efforts, accidentally like caught them. That like they reached out to her, and she was surprised to hear them. That like she had made peace with the loss of her children, but then she hears their voices out of the darkness, and she's like, "Oh!" Like it went from, "I'm in my retirement. I'm just learning a new skill. You know, I'm taking an annex course from the Mastic Arts," <laughs> and then she's like, "Oh, new mission: find my kids." It turns right. out maybe they weren't. Maybe you know, and and actually that that could pull the whole thread. Maybe it's like, yeah, no, Agatha grabbed a random actor who has a hilarious like a penis joke name. Or <laughs> they're subconsciously pulling from the multiverse. Like, I made these children. Yeah. Like, they are out of magic or something. No. You inadvertently opened a portal and pulled them through the multiverse. And you brought them out of there. Evan Peters, same deal. No, no, no. That is Quicksilver. You pulled him out of there. And yeah. in his experience, like, you, you mind whammied him so he thinks he's from someplace else. Like, so now he's stuck here. But he is from the Fox universe. It could I... be that, like, that's the multiverse. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I, I, I mean, we don't have any confirmation on anything. It's supposed no. to be leave you guessing. But totally. my theory is that she is reaching into the multiverse, and we're going to yeah. start to discover that a lot of what she was pulling from is the multiverse. What right. if she wasn't rewriting all their memories? She was pulling out different versions of all these individuals yeah. from the multiverse. Exactly. So like, it, there's a world that is stuck in the 1950s and the 60s, right. <laughs> and she was just relating them to the TV show she was a part of. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fine. I mean, I like the idea of her manipulating reality itself around it because, like, well, yeah, well, don't I mean, forget. Yeah, but if you're pulling up memories from alternate realities, you're still manipulating reality. That's you're, true. You're, your idea still holds. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I got to tell you, by the way, I was actually rewatching Infinity War the other day, and the reality stones effects look just like Wanda's powers. They're both like red and kind of like flamey. Could be that she is manipulating reality itself. Right, right, right. I mean, reality manipulation I mean, looks like red. <laughs> it's the red color. It's red. <laughs> when you need to go back in time, it's green. Like you know. <laughs> uh, and when you're going to teleport, it's space. So that's blue. it's blue. <laughs> yeah. And when you're using the Mind Stone, it's blue unless you take it out of its eggshell, and then it's yellow. <laughs> we didn't know. Um, what do you think? How do you think this is going to tie her into Doctor Strange? Doctor Strange. I'm glad I that Doctor Strange did not show up. I still think <sighs> it would have been it would have been too much of a uh, it would have been too much of a kind of like trumping the whole. Okay, now she's with Doctor Strange. All right. Well, see, yeah, I would have no, been okay with that. I, see, I I thought because I thought it was going to be like they drew from so many different comics. I thought there was going to be a moment like at the end of Avengers Disassembled. 
And, like, having, instead of Magneto showing up and being like, mine, leave, it's Doctor Strange, because he does that also in, in Disassembled, where he's like, no, whammy. And it's like, he just shows up and he goes like, no, and, like, takes her with him to the to the Sanctum. And he's like, listen, I needed to knock you out. You're kind of going nuts. But, like, now that you're here, let's train. And he, like, teaches her and she kind of, like, stays there, like, Rintra or something. But, like, see, everyone yeah. assumes that Doctor Strange is going to train her. I think it's the way around. Right. So what I think happened is... We were told that the Scarlet Witch can be more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. She is. It's, it was stated, but not shown, right? But what if she's going to go learn, and doc and she learns about the multiverse, yeah. and Doctor Strange is like, whoa, whoa, what are all these doors? And she shows up and right. teaches him. Mm. Everyone's all assuming he's going to teach her, but she, she's learning real quick. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, we yeah. got like a year and a half till Doctor Strange comes out. So yeah, in a yeah, year yeah. and a half, how much do you think she's going to learn? <laughs> right? I think that that would be too bad because I'm going to Doctor Strange 2 to see the Sorcerer Supreme being cool. Well, and yeah, but what if she shows up at the beginning, teaches him how the multiverse works, and then goes, all right, well, I got to go. My kids are on this one, so yeah, have fun. I think he knows. I think I think he knows where the multi. I think he knows about the multiverse. Like I think Doctor Strange is aware by this point of what the multiverse is. Uh, I I would not want to see that. I, I, at the very least, like I would hope it's like a minor plot point. At the very least, I don't want to see like this. The what's the Source Supreme title mean? Like what's what is he supreme to if not like a Scarlet Witch? I don't know. It just seems like it just seems like a weird, needless power scaling thing. And the, the, once I hear about like who's more powerful than who, my eyes glaze over. But like, yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you. I'm not a huge fan of power scaling in general because like we're talking about one comment made by Agatha. Ooh, the Scarlet Witch is more powerful than the Sorcerer Supreme. <laughs> yeah. But she also doesn't know how to control her powers, yeah, I get this, so I don't really... <laughs> right, yeah, and and her powers come naturally, and it's like an ability she has. It's not that she's learning it, it's that she's just able to do it. She doesn't know yeah. what they mean, you know, but, like, she does learn a couple of things, like runes and whatnot. <laughs> so, not much more to explain about the ending. It's, mo it's very much directly related to Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness, and now it's just a question of where were those voices coming from? Was she seeing right. through the time, seeing the, the kids from the past, and the kids are calling out to their mother as they're, you know, like that kind of a thing? Are right. they in the multiverse? How is she going to be tied into Doctor Strange? Where is the location of the cabin? All these are the mysteries that we have until yes. Doctor Strange 2 comes out. Or Spider-Man. I don't know if she's going to show up in that. I, I think Spider-Man is his own thing. I think that, like, they're going to be really focused on the Sony stuff. You know, like the three other like the two other Peter Parkers and 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 all that stuff. Like I, I don't think Wanda's gonna be a factor. Okay. <laughs> I think just Doc is gonna be in it. Not not Wanda. But okay. Who knows? But yeah, that's our discussion and analysis of the uh and explaining of the ending of it, where it's where it comes from, where it's implied, what we think is gonna happen next. Yeah. Stay tuned here at Absolutely Marvel in DC as we're going to be discussing where is White Vision in a video more analysis style. We're also going to be discussing uh, a lot more possibilities involving WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier, more analysis style. We do a couple types of videos here from discussions like this to analysis where we just tell you straight up what our ideas are or doing Easter eggs and theories, all of which happen right here in the channel. Stick around and check it all out. We appreciate each and every single one of you. And I'll see you next time right here at Absolutely Marvel and DC. I'm going to start saying it like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>